Hey, hey guys! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Timmy, and if you're returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. So, guys, today's video, I'm going to be discussing a few things I think I wished I knew before coming to Kenya, and also a few things I wish I would see in Kenya. I'm going to make this video as short as possible as I can. You know, I don't like long videos. Okay, so these are the things I wished I knew before coming to Kenya. So you all can see that today's video is two topics in one video. So guys, I'm going to make this video as short as possible as I can. And okay, guys, let's go right into this video. Okay, so these are the things I wished I knew before coming to Kenya. The first one is language barrier. Me speaking Swahili is a bit difficult. I have tried to speak Swahili and I'm still trying to learn how to speak Swahili. So I am trying to speak that pole pole. Okay. <laughs> so I I know a lot of people will say we speak um, English in Korea also. Yeah. Yes, you do. That is very correct. But no, do you also know that the way we speak English in the way you speak English in Kenya, it's different from the way it's spoken in Nigeria. Like, it's a bit difficult. Don't get me wrong. It is almost the same meaning, but it has, the, it has different pronunciation. Like, okay, for example, when you want to say come, come in Kenya, it's like you come, come to, come to me. But in Nigeria, it's like you're telling someone to calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? So, in Nigeria, we do pronounce it come. Home, like so it's a bit difficult let me use this as an example i know a lot of a lot of you have watched my video where i was doing ascent challenge with my with my friend where we mentioned um cucumber you see it is um it is called cucumber in nigeria but in kenya it's called cucumber cucumber like okay when i buy um cucumber and i told the person i want cucumber she was she will get confused at that time, like, what is that? And I have to, okay, come down to the level, come back. So at times, I don't really understand everybody. I don't really understand everyone here. So, and at times, my English, <laughs> the way I say it, the way I pronounce it, it's, 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 get, it's get them confused at times. So I wished I have learned how to speak Swahili before coming to Kenya. The second one is food. I have really had really nice food here in Kenya. An elderly one at that so but um majority of the time it is not as spicy as the way it is in nigeria and some food are also seasoned less than the way it is in nigeria and it also has different names like um a way do okay a way do in nigeria it is called morenda i wish i i hope i'm pronouncing it well Morenda in um in Kenya, so it has different names and it also has it is also and the way we cook it also is also different the way it is cooked here in Kenya. Like if you cook a wedding here in Nigeria, we have to cook it and uh, mash it with broom and I think short broom something like that. It, it has its own mashing broom and of course you can also blend it but the way it is cooked here in kenya you have to just eat, cut it like that and i think cook it without mashing it so it is cooked like vegetable here in kenya it has different names so that's why i said i wished i knew the foods in kenya before coming to kenya okay the third one is driving till now i still get confused ever to any time i want to sit at the front seat I will, at times I hope on the driver's side before I realize, oh, I'm at the wrong side of the road. But you know what? We move. We move. Okay. <laughs> in Kenya, yeah, um, the roads are I kind of um narrow and curved. So if you I am not that familiar, like I I I would have <laughs> don't let me say I would have. But even if I try to, I might not still get used to that till now. So I wished I knew how to drive at the left side of the road before coming to Kenya. So yeah, but still, we move, move, <laughs> okay? So, the, so we've come to the end of the topic, the things I wished I knew before coming to Kenya. And now we are moving to the things I thought I would be seeing in Kenya, which I didn't really see per se. Okay, so the first one is, I know you guys would have guessed what I'm trying to say. So if you guess right, let me know in the comment section. The first one is 
party, guys. I thought I'm going to the same party here and there, like weddings here. Um, I'm naming ceremony the other side, so I thought I'm going to the same where our parties here and there, but no, I didn't see that. Don't get me wrong, I don't say Kenyans don't throw parties, they do, but you know, compared to the way it is in Nigeria, it is a bit, it is different. I won't say it's a bit different, it is totally different, guys. You know, in Nigeria, any little thing, if even though you're doing graduation, you're doing um, naming ceremony, we go to the like majority, I won't say everyone, majority of us, we, we pick clothes like in uniform, like Ankara, I think it is called Kitenge in Kenya. So I'm not really sure about that, but I think it's called Kitenge in Kenya. Like, we don't pick that, we, we throw a big party, guys. It is so different the way it is in Kenya. So I thought I'm going to be saying something like that. People being party here and there, but no, it is not. And the second one, I thought I would see a big market here in Kenya. Don't get me wrong, I don't say there is no market here in Kenya. In fact, there is a big market in Kenya, like a lot of big big markets in Kenya. And like, okay, the ones I know, like you come back. I don't know, maybe I'm pronouncing it well. Okay, please pardon me for that. Um, Gikomba, <laughs> Gikomba, and um, a lot of big markets. But what I'm trying to say is, compared to the one in Nigeria, it is not as big like the one in Nigeria. Like, okay, for people that are Nigerians, for Nigerians living in Kenya, and you're watching this, you will definitely know what I'm trying to say. Like for Osho D, all these big big uh, markets in Eko, where you can go and pick clothes in bulk for parties for Hoambe where you can go and pick um where you can go to the company or to the distributor to pick clothes so that's what i'm trying to say like it's a big market that you can't know every inch and corner of the market so uh that's what i'm trying to say i thought i'm going to be saying something like that here yeah, in kenya but no i didn't say something like that in kenya and the third one is church. So I thought I'm going to be seeing the churches we have in Kenya. I mean, in Nigeria, I thought I'm going to be seeing them in Kenya. Like the names of the churches we have, the different types of churches we have in Nigeria. I thought I'm going to be seeing them here in Kenya, but no, I didn't see them except from the Redeemed Church, Christian Church of God, the Mountain of Fire, and those those popular churches. And um, I thought. The way we pray in Nigeria is the way it is done here in Kenya. Like the way we pray aggressively, the way we pray it out. We don't, the way we speak it out to God. Like I thought it is how it is done here in Kenya. But you know Kenyans do things pole pole. Like they do that things really pole pole. Like even if you're this pole pole for them, okay? So um, I thought I'm going to be saying that also in Kenya. But no, I didn't see that like... Even the MFM churches we have here in Nine in Kenya, I've attended one of them and the way they pray is so surprising because MFM I know in Nigeria do pray aggressively like with fire to fire. But no, it is not like that in Kenya. And the fourth one, which is the last one, because I promise you guys I am going to make this video short as possible as I can. So, um, the last one, I thought, this one, I thought I'm going to be seeing it here and there, like, me going to the market, I'm going to see it, and okay, point and pick it, point and pick it, hell no. No, it is not like that here in Kenya, and I'm talking about no other thing than Pepe, so, which is called Pilipili in Kenya, like, I thought I'm going to be seeing it here and there, like, you know, point to it and take it. But no, like, you know, in Nigeria, <laughs> anywhere, it is anywhere you go, you go see her, I see forget, anywhere, even on the streets, you see, just you selling it everywhere. But here in Kenya, it has, it, it has a specific place you can get it. Like maybe when you go to the mall, you get it there. When you get, but on the street, no. Or like in an open market, no, you can't just get Pilipi like that. Especially when it comes to Scotch bonnet pepper, you can't get that anywhere, anyhow in Kenya. So even if I go to restaurants in Kenya, the first thing they ask, and if they know I'm a Nigerian, the first thing they ask me is, 
do you want chili because chili is not inside the food generally they didn't food they didn't add chilies but because at the sea that i'm a nigerian and though that is what comes to the mind first when they're serving the food do you want us to add chili and even if i said yes the chili they had it it's like i'm not even tasting anything i can't even feel anything so but in nigeria no no one's going to ask you for that if you're eating in a nigerian restaurant just know you're eating chili just know you're eating pepper because it is like it is automatic that is the first ingredient in food it is among the first ingredients in food when you're planning the food just know you're planning the pepper to eat because it is it is automatic it is a must yes it is a must so I thought I'm going to be singing Pepe here and there, you know, tasting Pepe here and there, but no, <laughs> no. So likewise, it's the same, it is the same thing for Kenyans coming to Nigeria. Like, it, don't think you're going to be saying, don't think you're going to say different types of tea in Nigeria the way it is in Kenya. Or don't think you're going to be saying um, tea farm in Nigeria the way it is in Kenya, because we also yes, we have tea in Nigeria, but compared to the way it is in Kenya, no. So that is the end of the video, guys. If you love this video, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and make sure you comment down there. You know, your comments makes me grow. Make sure you comment and share this video. And do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And please... <coughs> I I noticed that majority of people that watch my videos are not have not subscribed. Please make sure you subscribe, and we are the road to one thousand guys. Please make sure you share this video and um, tell your friends. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.